In today's video, I will build a tower and live in it for 24 hours. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you've liked. Let's aim for 250 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos. Each one helps the channel grow its own. Last video's mythical giveaway winner show now, and today we're going through another one, which is a Sky Lantern Sushi Chef Hat. To win this, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys, we're on Panda Hut. A uh, few people on, there's actually quite a lot of people on. But yeah, I'm completely naked, I have absolutely nothing. And the plan for today is I'm going to survive in Washington for 24 hours. Basically, the goal is that my base lasts for 24 hours. And we'll see how much trading, how much PvP we will do in these 24 hours. Obviously, when we just started, we have nothing. I'm gonna try to build a tower base next to Scorpion. Uh, that's my, there's two dudes here. I hit one. Hit him again. Bro, they're trying to punch me out. Alright, one guy dead. Let's pick up the arrow. Alright, they're both dead. Alright, so basically, yeah, that's the plan. Um, server is a bit high times load, but everybody's gonna be having sky bases on the server. I'm not gonna build my own sky base because I don't really want to. Hey, we're gonna build a tower base next to the Scorpion 7 tunnel. Over there, a lot of people do spawn around there, and usually they loot Everett Scorpion and then go to the tower. So each kill that I will be getting, they will actually have some loot. Hopefully. I really hope so, at least. And I don't get raided in the next 10 minutes. There's a chainsaw. I am dead. I got killed by a chainsaw. Alright. Great. Great start. I mean, we didn't lose anything. Just lost a crossbow. So whatever. Who cares? But yeah, from a farm, I'm gonna try to get myself a chainsaw more than anything. It's really the only thing that I need. And if I get a Schofield... Oh, there's another dude, bro. Bro, get the chainsaw. Oh, I'm oh my god, I'm dead. All right, I'm dead again. Lovely. All right, we gotta load the, th the farm for the third time. Let's hope we get a chainsaw. There's a dude here. He's fully geared. Hit him. Hit him. How is he not dead? What? Okay, that headshot did not register. All right, great. Bro, I've died three times already. What is going on, man? And each time I'm spawning next to a farm. I need to get myself like a military gun, bro, and everybody would be dead. I really could have gotten that kill. The headshot, I got the hit mark. It just, he just didn't register. That sucks, man. Come on, give me a chainsaw, bro. All I need is a chainsaw. Give me a Hawkhound or a Schofield. And I'll start building the base. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Ark and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry, because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight back into the action. Alright, base building time. We're gonna build over here. From here, we would have an angle of looking over the tunnel and also at scorpion so we would know if there are people in any of those locations i'm gonna build it a bit higher off the ground and then at the end i'll just put pillars at the bottom so it'll look like an extra floor so if somebody raids that they would actually be raiding into nothing but we'll do that later for now i'm just gonna build a one by one and then later on i'll build another external one by one and from there we'll build the tower it'll look good though i have a good idea of how i want to build this and then we'll do a hole we'll do a hatch mainly we'll use stairs though but at the very last floor we'll use a hatch Free is also pretty good because we can get military loot very easily since it's high times load, almost every zombie is gonna drop something that, that's that's important we're gonna have to stack a lot of metal because I do want to do a full one by one that's full metal for our loot room, for our main loot room at least. Here we got ourselves a knife. Please give me a heartbreaker. Here we got ourselves a lot of clothes. There's a flanker here. Yeah, let's kill him. A lot of metal. So there are two high tier spawns here. Yeah, there we go. We got night vision on this one. The other one, there's a suppressor. All right, well, I'll take that. Let's kill this final zombie. Now, probably my idea for looting will be going here to Paradise Point. We're going to have to try to get a blowtorch zone too. That's something that we're definitely going to be needing. For now, I just built a one by one with some wardrobes in here. I still have quite a lot of planks. 
We can actually make, yeah, we're gonna start doing the one by one full metal. There we go, we got ourselves a pillar. I think I can make another pillar, yep. And then we'll just need some metal. Or they can make a wall. Alright, lovely. There we go. Yeah, we don't really have anything good in here, obviously, but since it's high loot, it shouldn't be an issue for us to actually get uh, good loot. We only have a hawk hound. But maybe with this hawk hound, we can get some insane loot. I'm gonna keep the night vision here so I don't wanna lose it, especially I don't have any good guns. Yeah, let's see if we let's see if we get something good. We're gonna go Scorpion and then to the town and then all the way to Paradise and then to Tacoma. That's the plan. Oh, okay. A, a, a guy came out of behind me, bro. Great. I got myself a saber tote. I think I'm gonna head to Tacoma for a blowtorch soon, actually. Let's kill this dude. Actually, I could try to go to Heritage maybe and we'll get like a rocket launcher or something. There's a dude up there, bro. Yeah, I see his night vision. Hit him, hit him, hit him. There we go. He's He has a heartbreak, eh? He didn't hit me once. Let's see if my guy has anything good. Yeah, backpack. Wait, my guy has Dragon Fang boxes. What? Okay, the Dragon Fang boxes are empty, but we got ourselves a Dragon Fang. Ah, that's home. Oh, the Dragon Fang is empty itself, so... Oh, never mind. But still, bro. If we get high cal, we could just fill it up. We got ourselves... What the hell was that guy doing? I think that guy just finished doing a raid, and uh, I don't know. I don't know why he didn't home an easy dragon thing. It's empty, but yeah, we could refill it, man. Even if we just get a box, we got ourselves a fully decked out heartbreaker too. That looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, so I got myself a lot of metal. We're finishing the one by one full metal. We got ourselves the roof as well. I gotta make myself a door really quickly, but yeah, one by one would be done. All we need to, need to upgrade is the second doorway. And there we go, we got ourselves a door. And you gotta do the roof, as the, the floor as in as well. But we'll do that later. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start building the tower zone. Since it's gonna be dark, I don't really wanna run around and so PvP when I don't, I'm not gonna have night vision on me. Because I don't really wanna risk the only two pairs that I have. <laughs> Alright, so I did not get a blowtorch, so we'll have to come back. It's no problem, though. Oh, there's some- Bro, I'm dead- What? Bro, my guy, I didn't even see him, man. Alright, I just lost myself another gun, bro. We're gonna have to go back with this heartbreak, eh? There's a lot of shots going on now. Viper and Eagle. The dude that killed me had a Viper, so it's probably him. I don't know why he's not using my heartbreak. Oh, there's heartbreaker shots now, so... Bro, what the hell just happened? Out of nowhere, like... A lot of people... Wait, there's my loot here. What? He didn't even take my loot. There we go, I got my heartbreaker. I don't know where he is, man. Oh, wait, he's right in front of me. There we go, he's dead. There's still more, but... Let's see what he had. Oh, night vision? Yeah, he had, um... Oh, I got shot by shadow, man. I have no meds. I need to home. I need to run back to base. And depot, I got two heartbreakers. I got three on me, actually. I got a peacemaker as well. All right, yeah, we're back in base. Let's just depot all of the guns. All right, so by three storage are already pretty much full. Three wardrobes are full, yeah. I need to make more storage, man. I need to work on base actually because it's just kind of too small right now. Yeah, it is partly metal, but I still need a blowtorch to actually start making wardrobes and all of that. And somebody is sniping with a Shadow Stalker. I spawned close to melee, so I'm gonna loot around here. Maybe there's a Mega Zombie. That's, that's what I'm gonna do next. The dude is just camping somewhere with a Shadow Stalker. Eh? I'm not gonna bother to go back and lose another Heartbreaker. Eh? Looks like someone died here. Yeah, we got ourselves a Chainsaw. There's Night Vision as well. Heartbreaker. Eh? Alright. Yeah, let's loot here really quickly. Maybe there's somebody around. We could kill him. Got ourselves some insane loot, but... Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think there's anyone around. Yeah, somebody else died here. More raw? Bro, somebody killed here and they just didn't bother to loot them, I assume. Um, I'll take it, no problem. Yeah, he had full ghillie almost. Alright, there we go. Let's just put a laser on it. Yeah, I don't see anyone, man. How come there's nobody in military but there's like five people at Everett? That's crazy. Alright, we should home. Um, we looted here, got ourselves Heartbreaker back, and we actually got lo better loot than what we had. So yeah, that's home. Yeah, we're back. I think I'm gonna work on base for a little bit next, actually. There's a wooden door base here. Oh, a lot of metal. I'll take that.
Or we got some metal wardrobes finally. This will all go into the metal one by one, obviously. Still not a full one metal though. Still the roof is still wooden, but we'll upgrade it later on. It's just five sheets, so it's not gonna be a problem. But I also did get the blowtorch finally. We're looking at it for almost for a while now, but we, we got it, so it's no problem. A third wardrobe. We got ourselves some heartbreakers. We got a shadow as well. So when we build the tower, I'll be up there camping with it. I mean, unless I find myself like a five-man team trying to raid me or something, which is probably going to happen at some point. But now let's work on the tower. It's tower building time. Oh, there's a dude there. Oh, let's take him down. Let's see what he had. Uh, he's a solo, so that's good. Yeah, let's see what he had. I don't think he had anything that good, though. But we still gotta check. And, okay, well, he has a Hawk Hound Eagle Fire. Some ammo for me. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. We'll salvage all of the guns that we don't need, especially the Bow Hawk Hound. Uh, we could actually keep the makeshift scopes. We could keep that. No problem at all. Alright, so I'm gonna lose Scorpion. I'm gonna try to get more rails. Because uh, we're gonna need to raid... Rails can actually be quite important. They could do quite a lot of damage. Could be really good. There's a dude there. Alright, he's dead. I think he just spawned in actually. But he looted the gun store, so he may have a, like a, an ace or something. But we still gotta, you know, kill him. But yeah, he only had a box. Yeah, nothing else. Wait, here's steps. Oh yeah, there is a dude. And I'm dead. Bro, there's no way I just got bursted. Bro, I'm dying so stupidly today, man. I'm going back, obviously. He should not have homed or whatever. He only had an ego fire by the looks of it. Now he has my heartbreaker. <laughs> Dead. Let's kill out the zombie. You guys see his ragdoll? It's green. It's like the new effect. Yeah, he has an ego fire heartbreaker. Uh, I really like this regular effect, actually. It's called Jade. You can craft it, I'm pretty sure. There's a lot of different ones now, too. There's, like, a red one, so... I don't know how to get that one, though, unfortunately. Alright, so I've been running around the same areas over and over, hoping for a Mega Zombie. This is, like, the sixth time I'm actually here, trying to find a Mega, but... It's just not our lucky day. A lot of people did leave. I think right now it's literally the worst time to actually find PvP. So hopefully more people will get on later on, but... Nothing really is happening. I'm just running around farming. Sire is starting to look pretty good as well. Um, so we're putting storage into the stairs. It's actually quite good for having no... For not really using a lot of the space. It looks pretty good too. Right, so I think I'm gonna go to melee and hope for a mega zombie over there. If there isn't one over there, then... I genuinely don't know how I'm going to get like a detonator or something. That's really all I want. That's why I want to, to kill a mega zombie. But yeah, can't find one, man. I cannot find one. What? Oh, there's a dragon fang. Alright, I'll take that. <clears throat> Gladly. <laughs> Just a dragon fang spawn out of nowhere. I'm gonna go check out if there's anyone at melee. If there isn't, then I don't know. I'll loot around, hope for a mecha zombie. I should be careful now that I have actually had have a dragon fang on me. I really don't want to uh, like, die with it, but... Yeah, there are people there. There's a dude on the tower. I could try to see if I could kill him from far away. Yeah, he's tapping Peacemaker. Yeah, I could- Oh, there's another dude. Oh, it's a duo. I don't know if they're together. Yeah, I think they're together or else they would have probably started shooting at each other, right? 
I could try to kill and dip just to scare a uh, heartbreaker or somebody else then. There's supposed to be three people. I could try to get a kill and maybe like push for the first guy and then just... Yeah, he's right there. I could kill him easily. Yeah, he's dead. I could try to shoot him. Hit him. Yeah, he's hiding. There was a zombie. I was gonna die to it, but... I don't know if I should push and risk a full dragon fang. Yeah, I hit him. You know what? I'm not. I'm gonna run back. I saw a base back here, actually, and I think I'm gonna raid it really quickly since we're already here. No oh, there's another dude behind the tree there. Alright, well... But yeah, I saw a wooden base. Um, since we're already here, I might as well just start a raid. The thing is, people can try to counter over here. But yeah, it's this base. Um, part of it is wood, part of it is metal. But I'm gonna raid the wooden part. What? There's two doors for this base. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna chop down a tree. So that we'll get ourselves some wood so that when we go in we can re easily rebuild behind us. So we'll be able to take care of any counter raiders. You know, tonight is gonna take a while. I really hope nobody is actually gonna run over here. Since I did kill someone and they're trying to look for me. Yeah, I got enough wood. Alright, screw it. Let's start the, the dragon thing. Let's raid this wall. Alright, we'll throw lockers and the bed. I need to make a wall. I can't. Bro, the locker is blocking it. No. Alright, let's raid this locker. Oh man, give me something good. It broke and steely PDW. I still can't, bro. The generator is in the way. Alright, let's just take everything. I don't have any more enough to actually raid another locker. So we're gonna take this loot and we're gonna dip. Looks like a bunch of attachments. PDW is nice. Glow. Bunch of attachments, yeah. Get ourselves a PDW as well. That's nice. We got a door. Okay. Range finder. That's an easy sentry. All right, yeah. We got ourselves a full locker over here almost with uh, raw explosives. That's pretty nice. But yeah, we placed the storage here. Looks very good on stairs. We'll do it on every floor. Yeah, let's put the, the, the dragon fang as well. We'll put everything here. Stuff I don't want to lose. I need to get more high cal. And we'll finish that raid. Today, my goal for this 24 hours is finishing that raid over at military as well. Not really finding any more raids, unfortunately, on this survey. Oh, there's a dude there, I think. Yeah, let's take him out. Oh, bro, I... What? How the hell did I not kill him? My guy has to be 1 HP, right? And it's just... Yeah, my guy's fighting and he's dead. Let's see if he had anything good. I had a viper. Bunch of ammo. Alright, let's take everything. We can take all of the stuff we need for metal, so... Oh, high cal, perfect, 20 shots. I think I need, like, one full Dragon Fang box to finish all of those lockers. So we still need to grind a little bit more for that. Or a detonator, that would be great if we get a deto. There's another Heartbreaker in here. Obviously, I'm picking as much Heartbreakers as possible, because we'll never know when I need an extra gun. If I'm getting raided, then I need a quick Heartbreaker. I don't know why I picked up a Colt. Yeah, let's put all of these here. We could put the chevron scope on the heartbreaker actually as well. And even the barrel. Have ourselves fully decked out guns. And we'll save some storage too. I accidentally made some splints so we don't need those on the survey. But over here what I did is I did a hole and the hatch and the leather. So that if people do manage to build up and then they manage to raid, they will still need to raid that. So it's kind of like extra protection. I made shutters everywhere so that if I see people around I can easily just open a shutter. Shoot them out. Alright, we're gonna go back to the same tactic I was doing, which is going to the heli crash and hope and pray for a mega zombie. And we're back at melee. There's some shots going on. This time I think I'm gonna try to push in since I don't have anything that insane. There's a guy that's fully geared. There's a naked at the entrance. I'm not gonna kill the naked yet. I'm gonna use him as bait. So if he's gonna push up and he dies, I would know where the guy that killed him is. Yeah, I think he's at the yeah he's at the very back, like next to the bunkers area. Yeah, I'm gonna push to the very back. Maybe that way it'll be easier for me. I managed to make it. Oh, I'm getting shot at. I've been spotted. Oh, there's somebody pushing up. There's another dude. All right, he's dead. My guy has heartbreaker. Let's kill the zombie. All right, I think there's actually a lot of people around. There's another dude. Hit him. Bro, I'm stuck. Right, he's dead. My guy had heartbreaker as well. I need some med up. This med up gets a full HP. Oh, there's another dude. Bro, he hit me twice. Bro, how many? Ho Killed one. Killed another. Bro, there's a guy behind me. 
killed them. Bro, I think I cleared them all. I need to home, man. Alright, so from that I got even more high cast, so that's really good. We don't have enough to actually finish that full raid though, 100%, but I'm gonna keep doing Lutrons. I'm gonna wait for it till it's day. I'm really hoping for a detonator, man. That's all I want in my life. <laughs> One detonator. Hey, wait, what? This dude just gave me a maple strike. I'm gonna take it. I don't know why. He told me that he wants to give me a gift. I think he recognized me and wants me to get a maple. Well, I will not be using this maple strike, but thank you, kind sir. I appreciate that. Alright, guys, so after that, I did go AFK for a little bit. I did go to sleep. Overnight, I was hoping that the base wouldn't get raided. It did not get raided, thankfully. And then we joined on the second day, and this is what happened. Alright, so base is completely untouched. Beautiful. I love that. I think I'm gonna take the Dragon Fang, and since there's not a lot of people on, there's a dude in front of us. There's a lot of people on, so I think I'm gonna go to try to finish that raid. Hopefully nobody finished it, but I don't think anyone did. Yeah, there's a dude. There we go. He's dead. I do know of another raid, actually, and I think that's what we're gonna go raid first. It's a very small base. Oh, yeah, this dude had nothing that good. He got a good fire backpack and a med kit, some metal and some cloth. Also, uh, yeah, this base is right next to around uh, this town over here, Everett, and we're gonna give it a- we're gonna give it a look. Maybe we'll get ourselves some good loot from it, maybe we'll get a detonator finally. Wait, what? I'm getting shot at by a- a sport shot? What? Where is he? I don't really care though, it's a sport shot, but- Wait, is he up there? Yeah, I think he's actually up there. And he's still shooting at me. And he's- he hit me again. Bro, this guy is kinda rude. Let's switch to Shadow Stalker. Yeah, he is up there. Is he trying to tap me out with a sport shot? Bro, that's crazy. Yeah, he is. Bro, P. There we go, he's dead. Alright, um, I'll check out what loot he had later on. I'm gonna go do this base raid first. Alright, this is the raid I wanna do. Let's hope we get something good out of it. Um, and it is completely empty. Wow. Alright, insane base raid. Should've just wasted this ammo on the actual other raid at military then. I need to check if it is actually still unrated. I really hope so. Alright, well, this dude had a chainsaw and some ammo. Alright, well, I'll take the ammo. Well, <laughs> then, then they had a sport shot. Poor man. Oh, so he's shooting Viper. Yeah, that's right next to. Yeah, I see him. Green skin. Alright, green ragdoll. Ha! <laughs> Let's see what loot he had. Probably just a Viper by the looks of it. I think he just killed like a naked. Because I don't see any other loot piles around. Yeah, he had a Viper only. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go finish the raid. I did check it. It's still untouched. I got myself four charges. We did get the death after all. And we're gonna go and we're going to finish this raid. I really hope four charges is going to be more than enough. If not, then I'll just have to farm more grenades. Because that, that's the only thing I don't have, which is grenades. I'm kind of scared people are gonna try to counter. There's not a lot of people on right now because it's quite early in the morning. Alright, yeah, it's still completely fine. The owners did not log on, it's not fixed. It's still the same how it was. So I did chop down trees and I'm gonna just seal it off. Hopefully it's actually possible, to be honest. So yeah, we'll place floor first. There we go. Now we gotta place the two pillars. The thing is, I think with the charges, actually, I, I think it's gonna blow the whole base up, but... It's better to have a little bit of... Oh, I can't. Never mind, this was just a waste of time. Never mind, I can't do it. Alright, we'll put a charge there. Hope it's enough. We'll go with one charge for now. I really hope it is. Uh, it is not. We broke the roof. Okay. Maybe we'll break the doorway and we'll go even deeper into the base. Uh, okay, at least packs. Grenade. Bro. Yeah, I can make more charges. Alright, let's put this one... Alright, let's hope it's enough. Yep, it is. Alright, dude, we actually got a billion grenades. Range finders, we can make quite a ton of sentries now. We got two from this. I'm not gonna bother with the attachments. Oh, we actually broke some of the roofs as well, so we can get in deeper. We didn't break the doorway, but we broke the roof that's farther away. I, I don't understand. And let's go in. Oh, there's even more lockers. Alright, there's a bunch of wardrobes still. Let's make a try. Oh, there's shots going on. Grenades and raw. Another Detto. Missile. Even more rangefinders. Glow. Another detonator. Bro, I'm actually too geared. Let's make a triangular roof so that we can loot these in peace. 
Yeah, there we go. And bases. Yeah, we're sealed. We're safe now. Good. There's another range finder in here. Oh, I have another charge still. I'll uh, put this. Right, we'll put this here. I gotta prioritize on what I'm gonna take, actually. We'll take the rangefinder and the glow, obviously. I need this de de detonator, grenade, some metal. I can't make more charges. I Oh, no, I just need the blowtorch. Never mind, I can't make more charges from here. All right. Uh, that did not break the lockers. It broke the floor. Okay. Yeah, let's take that rangefinder. Let's home. I gotta just make a few more C4. It's not gonna be a pr an issue at all because we have everything now. All I needed were grenades. Here we have wire in here, a bunch of raw. Oh yeah, that's actually a very good base raid, bro. Much better than the other one we raided, the one that was completely empty. Let's put the billion detonators and the least specs and rangefinders that we got. All of these nades. Yeah, let's fill up this locker. So, bro, it's a solo and we got this loot in a day. I'm pretty happy with it. And considering we didn't really live close to any high tier lo locations such as Mili or Seattle, we just lived off a military tunnel. And PvP, it's kind of crazy, man. I need to go chop down more trees and I need to go make more wardrobes. I dropped everything good in there so that if I die, I don't lose them. Let's get ourselves some wardrobes. We'll make more storage. We'll craft C4 and we'll finish this base raid. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves uh, three charges. I can make the fourth one. I just need one more raw. Which we have here. There we go. Four charges, so that brings us a total of eight charges crafted. It's quite a lot, to be honest. For a solo, eight charges is, you know, uh, not not bad, bro. But we're gonna go finish this base raid. Let's hope that there's even more loot. What I would love to get, honestly, is Dragon Fang ammo. Or, like, Metamoris or something. More raiding methods. But if I get stuff for more charges, I would be happy. Because we would just, we would profit from it, basically. We already did profit from it. But I hope we profit even more. Alright, we made it... I think 3C4 is actually going to be enough. We'll put one C4 here, one over here, and the third one on the other locker. This should break the whole base and all of the lockers, hopefully. There's, um, there we go. Yeah, that broke literally the full base. All right, PW, Grizzly, High Cal, there's a Falcon, a bunch of nades. These guys are geared, bro. This is one of the perks of living next to the military base, obviously. They didn't have any, a lot of guns though. They have Eagle Fire here, Peacemaker. Alright, yeah. Got myself another full inventory. Definitely profited from this raid. I'm really happy with it. We're home. And we are done from that insane base raid. Very good though. I'm really happy with it. Tower is still standing strong. Not a lot of people come here by the looks of it. We did get a few Shadow Stalker kills. We did kill a few people that did run around past here. But un unless they shoot around, I wouldn't know that they're here, you know? Oh, I hear people with PDW right now, actually. I'm gonna depot and I'm gonna go check it out. Alright, insane base raid number three. Let's hope we get something good from this. It's just a one by one metal, but we'll see if there's anything good in it. Alright, we're through uh, Master Key Empire. Diving tank blowtorch. Alright, well, I could take the Empire, the chainsaw. Alright, boys, so after that, I did roam around the server a little bit longer, but. Nothing really interesting was happening. A lot of people did leave. I did get a few kills here and there, but they were mostly just new players with nothing really that good. The base did survive for more than 24 hours. The tower did stand there for a pretty long time. So the challenge of surviving for 24 hours was complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to see more like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.